Hi guys, Bomber here. Welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna do a deck doctor. The deck we're gonna doctor today is the Herd of Rats uh, Rat Ointment uh, deck. It's from Papaladin and here is the list. Obviously with this kind of deck we want to swarm the board as fast as possible in the early game with uh, by spamming Herd of Rats and Rat Ointments. Also there are other really good allies like for example War Rat, Gold Panners for Economy and Orphan Gang for even more early on uh, um, removal to for for our opponent threats. Then we also have two copies of Stampede for a win, another win condition, which uh, just uh, speeds up the the process of killing our opponent. And then we have Carnage, which is really the the win condition in the sense that when you play the Carnage, it should be lethal. So um, here is the deck list from Papalin. Uh, we are gonna try a, a match and then see how we can improve the this deck, uh, but without changing the essence of the deck, which is an Herd of Rat uh, Rat Ointment spam deck. So let's try the first game out. So we are up against Alzadora for what seems to be a, a normal uh, a cycling uh, Isadora. He starts off with an usury. Uh, I don't know if it, that's the right move, uh, but we obviously want to swarm the board as fast as possible. So also for coins, if you have them, probably the the best uh, choice for you is to go for Vergil Six, as they even more just uh, put even more pressure on your opponent and uh, and stuff. So that's definitely the, the best uh, coin to pick. So he, he does uh, kill the Art of Rats and the Gold Panner. So we don't actually care about the Gold Panner, but uh, for the Art of Rats instead, uh, we would have liked uh, for it to stay on the board. So we go for Stampede. As really, if we just redraw it, it's uh, really, really good. So it kills also the Orphan Gang, which is fine. So let's go for an, another Gold Panner. We will wait for the Carnage, as uh, we will wait until it gains uh, uh, much value, much more value. So let's go for a uh, Rat Ointment, obviously. We are pretty much close to Lethal with the Carnage, but we should uh, look out for the Malediction which will come uh, pretty soon, so we are at 4, uh, let's see if we get a proc from the Wishing Coin, we don't, so we can go for um, a Carnage as well. Next turn he still won't be able to go for the Malediction, so, so I probably want to go for the War Rat. So he goes for the Usury, let's see if he goes for a Masquerade Ball to kill off something, he does. Let's see what he kills. He kills a uh, Warrat and uh, our Fang Gang. Pretty much a uh, good choice. So let's go for another Herd of Rats. And uh, probably next turn we will be we will have Lethal. Yeah, that's seventy Lethal with Carnage plus uh, Stampede. So it goes for another Usury, but uh, that's probably good game. So our Fang Gang. Let's play another Rat, Stampede, and Carnage. So definitely good game. The deck worked out, but uh, um, still I think there are pretty much some chains to do. The first thing that I didn't like is the, the second Herd of Rats, that's definitely going out, uh, because really we don't want uh, too many rats. It's true that uh, going first turn Herd of Rats into Rat Ointment is really nice, but uh, really most of the times it will be a dead draw, um, a dead restock after the lay the game goes on a bit, or if you don't get it on the first turn, it is definitely a dead draw. So you want to have the the ability to have rat herd of rats into rat ointment in the first turn, but you don't want to make your deck uh, and actually your bank so inconsistent only for the first turn combo, which is in which isn't actually all that great. So for the same reason, probably a second copy of a Stampede is unneeded, because it's true that we want to outrush our opponent and be really fast, but if we want to go for an Herd of Rats strategy, then it is probably just a really long game where we just deny our opponent of all these resources, and we just win uh, by our board presence uh, uh, and only, and we don't need any more spells to just win the game as fast as possible. Because really we have the, uh, the resource denial from the Herd of Rats and the attacking potential from the War Rat, uh, which is also part of the bang, but also goes um, off uh, from a Rat Ointment. So really, this is what we want to, to look after. Then probably I will swap the Orphan Gang and also the Gold Panners uh, for a much... Uh, more useful card, which is the Scavenger, which could act a bit like an Orphan Gang if it goes for uh, Skulls or Magic, or like a Gold Panners if it goes for Gold or um, or Magic. 
Uh, and so in food it, it will be pretty much a, a dead draw uh, from the scavenger, but uh, it's fine. And also it has the 55% the chance to return to end, which is definitely nice, as it, it actually reads like your opponent loses our resources because he actually tried to kill it, and you still gain the resource um, uh, out of it. So really a very good card. And also it, since it uh, can um, return to the, um, to the battlefield, uh, it has more value to just swarm the board, which is what uh, we want to do. So definitely we want to go for Scavenger. Then probably the Carnage another time is a bit unneeded, because it's true that uh, it wins our games pretty uh, fast, but as I said, we want to more focus on a really uh, long game strategy when we just deny all our uh, opponent resources with the Art of Rats, and instead win by our board presence and not sacrificing stuff. So probably the Carnage has to go. Uh, also, uh, we need to be uh, really aware from the fact that our opponent was a bit unlucky, but if we did get to the malediction, then we probably would have been screwed. And uh, so we need ways to recover from um, a mass uh, board creator. So we probably want to go Rat Catcher and Repopulate as well. Uh, probably you could go for a Feast also, but uh, I feel like the Rat Catcher is a better Feast. Because um, if you look at it, it, it draws you an alley, uh, which is the same as the Feast. Because it's true that the Feast draws you two alleys, but you need to sacrifice one of, uh, of them on the field. So it's actually only one more alley uh, per Feast played, which is the same as the Rat Catcher. And the Rat Catcher is um, uh, more valuable, in my opinion, because if you actually shield it, then it is a value over time. And so, actually talking about uh, shielding, uh, we need a, a Defender, and so probably I will go for a Shepherd. Uh, and the other only pick is the God Outrider, since they are the only two defenders on Daramek. But I probably would want to go for Shepard, as we really have a really good synergy with Herd of Rats. So definitely that's something to consider. Uh, then probably the Rat Ointment, it's true, the second one, I mean. It's true that we are a Rat Ointment, Herd of Rats spam deck. But uh, probably the second one is too uh, costly, in the sense that it will also restock uh, Herd of Rats which are not maxed. And Rat Ointment is really good when it restocks at zero um, cost Herd of Rats, because really it's just zero cost card, you, you, you just get the value out of it and you don't need to spend anything on that. So that's definitely good. Instead, if you have to pay one gold for the Herd of Rats, I don't uh, think it is bad, but either it is good. So probably the second copy of Arato Intent has to go. Then let's see, probably... Uh, what are we want? Probably, uh, as I said before, uh, we don't have ways to spend the food from the scavenger. So probably uh, by keeping this fact of uh, swarming your opponent out and stuff, we probably want to go for a starving mob as well, which has an on-turn, actually on play, on play effect, which is much better than the Herd of Rats, and it gives us a way to spend our food. Uh, so that's probably something to consider. Let's go for the Stangarvin mob as, as more of as well. And then I say that the, the Rat Catcher is better than the Feast, but probably I will also want to run a copy of Feast just to have even more um, um, like uh, ways to recover from a mass denial card or whatever. So yeah, probably let's go with this iteration. We did change a lot, but we did keep the, um, the, the essence of the deck. So let's try a match uh, with this setup and then let's see how it works. So. We are another time against that uh, uh, Isadora deck, so let's see if uh, right now it works better. So let's probably go for an Herd of Rats and a Scavenger, as early on it's better to have uh, uh, economy, which Scavenger provides, instead of the War Rat, which is more aggressive, and as I said, we want to be a bit slower than before and just uh, overvalue our opponent. So he goes to kill the Herd of Rats, but really we don't have a problem on that because we have the Rat Catcher, uh, which actually uh, catches a rat, so here is the name, <laughs> and, um, and so we can uh, replay it. So let's see, he does get two resources more, so he kills the Rat Catcher and the Herd of Rats, but really that's fine. Let's probably go for another Scavenger, as I said, and now that we can, we could probably go for our Rat as well. So we do reload Red Catcher, and also the, the Ezra ability is really nice with this deck. So might as well go for another War Rat, just to swarm the board even more. Since uh, it does not have a Malediction currently, so we can uh, take advantage of that. So let's see uh, the War Rat, I guess. And uh, probably I want to wait for the Stampede, as I want to try and get the Shepherd. So 
let's see. He does get a Malediction, but probably he will not be able to grab it next turn. So let's go for a Shepherd to actually shield a bit our stuff, and also uh, the Herd of Rats right now works uh, um, like a way to recover, actually to gain resources. So the Shepherd does survive, and it's uh, really nice. So, uh, he did get a Malediction, and really, this is probably the, the hardest matchup we could get. So right now we probably want to shift a bit of our strategy, and uh, just play cards which, are, uh, which have more health points than, uh, than one, so that the Malediction won't uh, kill them so easily. Uh, so, probably, let's go for a Rat Catcher, just because it provides so much value, and uh, right now we need to clear uh, our opponent as uh, fast as possible, so we probably want to go for Stampede, um, because really that's uh, our only way to, to kill our opponent. Also, we need the Shepherd to survive. Probably we just want to shift our strategy to be able to play only Shepherds, uh, which are really great value against Malediction, and uh, then uh, build our strategy uh, after that. So as I said, we just want to search for the Shepherd, so let's see. Also the Scavengers are still fine, because as I said, they have a chance to survive and uh, they are pretty good. But really, this matchup is probably the, the hardest counter we could have. So right now, as I said another time, we just want to grab a Shepherd and uh, we do need to get a big turn when we play a, a Stampede to actually kill our opponent. So let's see if the Rat Catchers does redraw the, the Shepherd. He does not, so we probably want to obviously play our cards. So, we do redraw the Shepherd, which is nice, one Scavenger returns to the end. Really, really uh, hard matchup for us, so if we do lose to this type of strategy, it doesn't mean that the deck is bad, it just means that we did uh, get art countered. Also, he has lead, also GG. So yeah, another time, the, the matchup was really, really against us, so let's probably retry this uh, deck another time, and then let's see if it works or not. So, we're another time against uh, this type of uh, deck. Since we know that he has a uh, Malediction, we probably want to be as fast as possible, and also uh, try to not make him uh, get the Malediction. So probably let's go for Starving Mob, which is the, the best value to just... Uh, uh, slowing down considerably. So she does kill the, the starving mob, but we can go for another one. Also, let's try for the second charm. So, obviously, let's uh, play another starving mob. Uh, might as well go for a rat toint vent this time. Or probably the Warrat, as we really want to be fast, and so the Warrat is the best uh, thing to be fast. So let's see what he kills, the Conjured Argret, that's not fine. So let's go for Herd of Rats into Rat Ointment, so that we'll, we'll gain another Warrat and an Herd of Rats as well. So we do get the Rat Catcher, which is definitely nice. And really, the, the thing with this deck is that we need to lock our opponent in the first turn, and uh, in this previous match we didn't do that, and so we lost, so... I don't remember what we have in the deck, but probably we have more allies than that, so let's probably sacrifice the Herd of Rats to get another Herd of Rats and a Starving Mob as well, so we can even more lock our opponent. So he did went for the Loan, uh, but he did not get the Malediction with the Loan, which is our hard counter, and so we are pretty much uh, uh, safe, pretty much. <laughs> I. I point out. So the turn we will go for the Rat Catcher will be pretty hard uh, for him to to answer. So let's go for another Herd of Rats and buy another Herd of Rats. So right now we do really have the board, but we need to lock him out of resources even more. So it goes for the Usury to cancel out the, the loan. He is getting pretty sick. Uh, 
uh, read rows. So let's go for the rat catcher and see if we do get there the rats. And that's really nice because right now we can go for the chain combo, which is the one that you see. So we also get a shepherd, but probably we will not be able to, to grab it. So, uh, we want to play the Herd of Rats first, and then play the Feast on the Herd of Rats. But yeah, really, we, we can't do much on him uh, if he's uh, starting to cycle this fast. And really, he's also being pretty lucky with the Earth Redraws. Uh, as when I play the Speedle, I don't redraw my stuff, uh, never. Instead, when I am against the Speedle, I always redraw their stuff. But it's fine. It's how RNG works. So let's go for Herd of Rats, but yeah, um, as the game goes on, the Vespigole just uh, is uh, stronger than, uh, than any other faction, as they have an exponential way of, uh, you see, you see, uh, we have an they have an exponential way to, to just um, snowball out of control as the game goes on. So yeah, probably pretty much nothing we can do, it's just a slow uh, death for us. We are also into negative, so we can't really do anything. So, let's see if our opponent is able to kill us. Lethal GG. So yeah, let's see. Against those type of decks, it's true that they are an art counter and all, but we really miss the the point of uh, uh, that we really want to lock them out uh, in the early game. So probably uh, I don't like the War Rat yeah, as a main part of the deck, but I do like the fact that um, it comes out from the right ointment, but that's uh, the only thing. I don't want a War Rat, a war rat in, um, in, uh, itself into the deck. So probably, as I said, since we want to uh, lock our opponent out, the Herd of Rats are really strong at doing that, but they take a turn to, to go off. And probably if our opponent already has resources, we want to drain them. And the only way to do that for now is with the Starving Mob. But if we uh, somehow manage to just activate the Herd of Rats every time they come into play, they will be pretty strong. And I know a person which could do that, which is the Overseer. So let's just add the Overseer as well. And probably this is also very nice uh, in combo with the Rat Catcher because the Rat Catcher uh, suddenly becomes a, a Repopulate um, when the Overseer is on, so definitely pretty strong. Uh, and also, yeah, mm, I really like the deck, but the fact is that we are getting um, hard countered, so let's try another time and see how it goes. So, we are up against a Madris. And so this is another time, not our uh, our matchup, because Madris uh, does really well uh, by staying at zero gold resources, as all their cards pretty much cost uh, less than three, which is uh, the the normal gain uh, 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 a turn of uh, income is worth. So definitely not again our best matchup, but we could go for a. Um, so let's see, we are at six, so that will be seven. Yeah, we could go for overseer plus starving mob to just uh, remove two resources out of him, and then probably next turn if you want to kill the lucky or whatever, we could go stampede. But probably we want to first kill the lucky as uh, this will give uh, Greta a second uh, chance to activate. So it could actually kill our board by retaliating uh, pretty sickly. So we are pretty happy with him uh, ransacking uh, our coins, because that will mean that we will redraw uh, better our allies. So let's see, let's go for a scavenger to try and get a resource to kill the lucky. We do get both golds, so yeah, that, that's fine. So next turn we will have a magic from the Conjured Argret to kill the Lucky, and also hopefully some other resources to try more to kill the Lucky if the Greta intercepts those attacks. So 
So she goes also for a Belladonna, but uh, that's really not a big deal for us. So the Lucky did... Um, uh, inter actually, the, the Greta did intercept the attack, so we, we should go for the, the Stampede. So, and actually, the Greta didn't retaliate at all this time. So, actually, now with the Overseer, every starving mob is worth two uh, resources lost. Actually, not now because uh, he has zero. So, we could go for a Rot Ointment to start off our um, Rat Ointment engine. And you see that with the Overseer on right now, that they are really, really stronger. As every herd of rats we get uh, will activate. From the bank, I mean. And also, I don't know, but probably the war rats spawned should not activate from the Overseer, if I remember correctly. So let's see, you should probably kill the herd of rats. He didn't, so that's good for us. We can do our combo. So might as well go for a rat catcher to redraw our herd of rats. And right now really we are pretty much safe uh, by the fact that he will not gain any more uh, gold entry per turn with all these herd of rats. Might as well go for a survey mob if he actually manages to kill some of the herd of rats. So right now we do need to heal and uh, the only way we can heal is with the scavenger. So that's pretty unfortunate, and we also want to obviously go for the Stampede to try and kill our opponent uh, faster than he does. So he also does get a Mayhem, but uh, he does he will not have the, um, the economy to grab it if the Diviner Charms don't activate. So next turn it could be lethal, so yeah, he doesn't grab the Mayhem. Next turn it could be lethal. But instead it isn't, and our opponent will kill us on our next turn, and so yeah, that's GG. But pretty close, pretty close. So probably we should have got the... the I don't know if the Shepherd actually cancels also the, the Poison's attacks, as it is not really intercept, it is cancelled two attacks per turn, so I don't know. Um, it was indeed... Uh, uh, we don't have uh, survivability with this deck. And we can probably do anything about that. The only way we could survive is uh, by playing Shepherd uh, and our Art of Rats, which could uh, uh, create a bunch of resources for us. So yeah, probably th there was uh, nothing we could do against a Poison deck another time. But yeah, another time it was pretty close, so I think that this deck still can work. It actually, uh, we, were, we were pretty unlucky with the matchups, so let's try another time and see how it, go it goes. So, in this match we are up against a uh, Babarus Idol, for what seems to be, at least. So, as always, we want to start with uh, by denying our opponent uh, economy. So, probably the best thing to start off with the Starving Mob, because obviously it's uh, on play, so it's better. So, he goes for the Herd of Boars, uh, and so probably we want to kill that, as we don't want our Herd of Rats and stuff to die. Uh, so, yeah, probably a Stampede will do it, so let's go for it, and also kill it. So it's true that he does get a resource, but he needs to spend it on the starving mob if uh, he wants to, to kill it, so we are happy with about that. So let's go for a scavenger, which will give us resources, and probably might as well go for a rat ointment to get the, the rat as soon as possible. So it's the scavenger, and he doesn't stay on board. So right now you see that uh, probably we will be able to keep our opponent at uh, zero gold every turn. So that, that's the main strategy of the deck, so let's see. So yeah, right now we should be able to keep him at zero gold every turn, as we have three, uh, the things that deny his resources. He did kill them, but uh, it's fine. So he's getting random procs from the boar fetishes, and uh, uh, that's probably a thing we, we can't do anything about. So I, I think that we have a bunch of rats into the deck, so might as well grab them. So he needs to spend either resources to kill at them, or uh, they will just make him lose resources. So let's go on time for Herd of Rats. Let's also heal the War Rat, as he is our best attacker right now. 
So now we can probably start working uh, our way to getting a shepherd, but we probably will not be able to grab it as it is uh, pretty much too costly. And that's probably another problem uh, we have. So we need ways to solve it. So right now we are really searching for a way to recover from uh, resource, uh, actually mass board denials or uh, uh, those things that you saw before. So probably a repopulator or even a rat catcher will be better with the overseer. So yeah, right now it has uh, 3 attacks per uh, magic blade and also it went uh, exponentially high with the Sagar Tortoise so probably I don't see anything we could do So yeah, another time we did fail to lock him out and uh, we did lost in the end as uh, this is probably what we are gonna do right now so yeah, really, this deck uh, doesn't seem to work as it has too many counters and uh, probably the first one we did one was with the undoctored deck, so probably I'm uh, missing something. So as I said, the Shepherd is uh, pretty much a dead card, so it has to go and probably want to shift uh, as the start uh, uh, to a more uh, uh, aggressive strategy. Uh, but really, I do think that we did get pretty lucky in the start. So yeah, let's see what we could do. Probably the gold punters could help us grab the, the Shepherd and uh, or uh, any highly cost card but still right now we did remove the Shepherd so no point in that so yeah really I don't see what we could place in the in the place of a Shepherd probably another Stampede as right now we are trying to get more aggressive but really I don't think that this deck can be that aggressive against for example the the, the Greta or the um, the barbarous that we did encounter so probably the that should not be the case now I'm thinking about uh, uh, Shrine of Rebirth to actually help us uh, regain our kill the kill the dollies or whatever but I don't think that's uh, the right way to go on our time so let's see what we could do right now I'm thinking about something a bit more crazy like for example uh, returning the carnage and the ride of combat as well and shifting this deck a bit into more and also adding the, the screamer to actually uh, make it a bit more like a ritual deck uh, with the board presence uh, from the carnage uh, and the recycling capabilities from overseers and rat catchers or probably get uh, rid of them and just have the, the feast and the repopulates that will come from the the, um, the Scrivener so that's a consideration and also might as well add the ceremonial dance in or maybe just go for a um, orphan game or actually war rat uh, spam with the overseer uh, to actually um, make them activate uh, a bunch of times so yeah I do like the this idea so let, let's probably see how it works as I don't know how it will work out so probably get rid also of the starving mob and the scavenger as right now we are really changing the, the deck another time pretty consistently we are trying to go for a different uh, thing so let's see we want to add the, the right of combat the, the carnage as a win condition or probably not, probably we want to be more like a ritual spam deck without the carnage as really right now we are reducing a lot our uh, our allies so we will not only be able to swarm the, the board on the first turns so yeah probably let's uh, get rid of the carnage, let's go for um, ceremonial dance and scrimoner and also we could go for a normal setup from the ride of combat which is the orphan gang and the gold punners which are pretty nice for uh, damage and economy and also we do get the resource denial from the Earth of Rats and even more attacks from the Warrat that will uh, spawn out of this probably the Stampede is a bit unneeded uh, since we switched our strategy but let's see how it works uh, and then we could always change it so we are up against uh, uh, for what seems to be a Benediction Pocky so let's see we, we should be able to be faster than him so let's see uh, let, uh, the Orphan Gang will kill the Marshal, so we obviously want to play it. Then next turn probably we'll go for a Ride of Combat to kill the Bishop as well. Come on. Did he crash? 
or is he thinking? So he, <laughs> he was thinking, or probably he did crash, I don't know. So let's go for a rate of combat to, to kill the, the bishop. Uh, Might also as well go for a gold panners to have a bit more economy and board presence. So right now we are pretty much very more aggressive, so we have also different strategy we, we could go on. For example, the, the resource denial if we do get the Herd of Rats plus Rat Point Band in the first turn. Or even just a full aggro mode with Rite of Combats and stuff. We also have the, the Ceremonial Dance with the Scrimer, which is always strong. So let's go for an Overseer to double our gold banners and actually get another free one. Probably right now I'm thinking about uh, Carnage over Stampede, as uh, really we, we do want to get the, the, the most uh, threatening uh, finisher and Stampede is not the, the best, as uh, if we do sacrifice one health allies then the Stampede and the Carnage is the same, but we don't get the activation on top of it and uh, whatever. So uh, let's uh, go for the Stampede to kill the, the, the Bishop. And right now we did manage to get him on negatives, but uh, just because he went into negatives himself, he's still into negatives. And so you see that there are the rats activation with the overseer, which is uh, really nice. It actually becomes a um, what was the name the the, the thing we had before, uh, which was the the starving mob. And so really a, a zero gold starving mob should be pretty fine. So that's also good. So. GG. So yeah, we did uh, finally win with this deck, but still, uh, as I say, there are probably ways to improve it. Another time we want the Carnage, probably, in, uh, in place of the, the Stampede. But yeah, other than that, I did feel it was uh, more uh, reliable, uh, it was more aggressive, it is not as much uh, weak against uh, board clears. We still have the nice synergy with Erd of Rats and Rat Ointment, and also it's uh, also really good to have Rat Ointment and Erd of Rats into our right deck, because uh, we can play so much cards with, uh, with the Rat Ointment, uh, and so really I, I do like the, um, this addition. Also, I do like the Overseer and Rat Catchers, and uh, I do like the, this iteration. So, probably another thing to consider is the Shrine of Rebirth, since we went for a more aggressive uh, Ritual deck. But then I don't really know what to get rid of. Uh, so, probably we will think about it uh, later. Probably the Carnage. Uh, we, we, we do still need to see how the Carnage uh, uh, works in this deck. So, let's try a, a game and then let's consider what we could swap for a Shrine of Rebirth and if it is worth uh, swapping something for the Shrine of Rebirth. So, we're up against uh, uh, Zalazam, obviously, so we really want to outrush him as fast as possible, uh, we currently have no way to do that, uh, probably, let's see, if we go for a toint vent, then next turn we will have uh, 3 attacks uh, from the Carnage, so yeah, we will be able to kill the, the Zamzigar, so let's go for it. Also, we do restock the Heart of Rats and we do redraw the Rat Ointment, so yeah, we are definitely gonna be able to kill the Zamzigar, so that's uh, really nice. And then we can recover from, from that. So right now he is uh, going for a Twilight Peacock, so probably will not be enough, but let's see. So yeah, it is barely enough, so that's uh, really nice for us. And from now on we can just recover from this situation. And then we can also lock him with uh, those Herd of Rats. So yeah, he does redraw the Zamzigar, so we another time need to be able to kill him in some ways. We do redraw the Carnage, which is definitely nice, so we will be able to kill the Zamzigar another time. So he was lucky to redraw the Zamzigar, and we were lucky to redraw the, the Carnage, so nothing crazy about that. So yeah, probably um, we do want also another Herd of Rats to, to kill the Zamzigar. Actually, we do have a magic, so it's fine. And also we want to go for the Orphan Gang to just uh, uh, have aggressiveness into play um, preemptively. So we also want to go for the Head of Rats to just uh, slow him down uh, just a bit. Just what we need. So let's go for a Head of Rats. So that we will not be able to probably get the Veil Warden ever. Let's see what he got from the, the summoning rift. Probably spy network is the best thing. Yeah, 
So he went for it. He will be able to kill the two rats and an orphan gang if he wants. Okay, so he went for Erd of Rats and Orphan Gang. So we actually don't mind him uh, healing, we just uh, don't want him to redraw the Zamziger, and he did uh, redraw the Zamziger. So let's see, we are happy if uh, the, the Paper Wipers doesn't kill the War Rat, and he did kill the War Rat, obviously. So, uh, we could redraw it with the Rat Casher, but then we will not have the, um, the gold enough for, for the Carnage. So we actually want instead to play the Orphan Gang. Okay, it kills a Rat, which is uh, better. So we can also go for the Carnage. So we do kill the Zamziger, that's pretty lucky. So finally we, we did get the Ride of Combat. I don't remember if we have an Overseer on, but if we do, then the Overseer plus Ratcatcher plus all the allies that we will get will make up for a pretty good turn for the Ride of Combat, so let's just uh, start to work uh, our way out. So I probably also don't want the Ceremonial Dance to be bumped out of the deck, as we really like that. It could help us uh, be more threatening and uh, threaten some more value. So let's go for an orphan gang to just uh, try and not get the ceremonial dance be bumped out of the deck. So yeah, now it has two Zanzigars out. I don't see a way to kill them. So we just need to be lucky with the rose. Uh, probably next turn a ride of combat and a carnage could save. Uh, our day, so let's see. So we do draw the cannon. Let's see if it is enough. So let's go for Ride of Combat. Then Earth of Rats. So no, they both survived <laughs> at one health, so. Uh, we were also unlucky, really unlucky, and yes, uh, GG, as he has also skulls. So, a pretty hard matchup, and also we were pretty unlucky. Uh, but still, like, I do like this iteration of the deck, it has some more value potential and stuff, so let's just try another game out and see how it works. So really, if we get lucky, we, uh, like right now, we do have the chance to go for Erd of Rats and Rat Ointment first turn, which is really great, to lock our opponent out. And uh, if not, we can go for a more value-oriented uh, match, like for example, ceremonial dance uh, and uh, and stuff. So we do redraw uh, Erd of Rat, Rat Ointment, sorry, and we do also restock another one. We could also go for a Rat uh, Rate of Combat if he goes to for his ally, which he doesn't, so we can go safely for uh, the Erd of Rats thing. So right now we do have a pretty uh, sick board and it's only turn 2. So really, we do have the the really threatening value, uh, yeah, so that's a win on turn 2. So it has the, this uh, really good starter, uh, which first turn actually equals uh, lethal, uh, or good game most of the times. And we do have the, the late game potential, so really, I do like this iteration, let's try another game out. So another time against that Zalas here. Right now we didn't get the the sick value on the start, but we could go for uh, Erd of Rats and also uh, for Orphan Gang. Why not? And so with the Carnage we also have the way to kill the Zamzigar if he goes for it. Also we did uh, redraw the, the Rat Ointment, so we do get the combo on the second turn, not the first. So he doesn't go for the Blood Pact, I don't know if uh, that's the right move. So we need to go for the Carnage, then we have the Rat Catcher to redraw stuff. So let's go for Orphan Gangs. 
to just be preemptively aggressive against uh, the Zanzigar that will return uh, right now. We'll go probably for the Paper Vipers to kill the Orphan Gangs, he doesn't. So that's, uh, that's fine for us. So let's see, if we get another proc from the Wishing Coin, we don't. So we probably want to go for a Rat Ointment, but still, he did uh, pretty much uh, get a really sick board. So we want uh, to just be able to cycle back to our deck uh, every turn, so probably next turn Overseer plus Ratcatcher could do something. Also the Overseer, if we draw a bunch of Orphan Gangs, that will definitely do the trick. So let's go for Ratcatcher, so we do get our Orphan Gang, which will kill the Zamzigar at least, so we can also remove a magic from him. We do redraw the Carnage. But unfortunately, our board will be killed. But probably it is for next turn. So yeah, let's go for Orphan Gang just to not clog up our hand. So we do get the Rat Catcher, but uh, not an Overseer. We do get an Overseer here, but it, we will not have the gold to grab it. So yeah, probably let's see if we do get an Overseer from here. We don't. Sorry, now it is enough to kill the, the Gilded Warrior. Probably able to also go for a gold panner, or actually a rat ointment to remove some of his gold. Is there uh, a point in doing that? Probably not. So let's uh, go for a gold panner instead. Oh, we also do redraw the uh, the card for thanks to the rat catcher. That's definitely pretty nice. Uh, I didn't think about it. So yeah, really carnage is really good uh, if we have also this synergy. And then next turn we will have a pretty sick uh, Carnage with Overseer plus Ratcatcher. Two Overseers, probably. So let's see. We just need to grab uh, an Orphan uh, actually um, a Gold Panner, which we don't. So he, do he did went for the Veil Warden, which will kill most of our stuff. Probably you want to go for the Carnage first. So yeah, they were killed before the, the Carnage activated them. And so yeah, that's another time GG, because it will have 9 attacks. So yeah, we were pretty unlucky this time also, but uh, really I do like this uh, this deck. Probably right now I'm thinking about, uh, yeah, the Carnage was nice and all, but probably the Stampede uh, works a bit more like a board control type of effect. Think about uh, if on that game uh, we did have the, the Stampede instead of the Carnage, the Stampede will still kill the Zamzigar first turn, but leave our board untouched. So I really do like more the Stampede as a way to control uh, the early stages in, and not uh, act like a finisher, which was the Carnage. So another time, probably the Carnage doesn't fit in this deck, so let's switch back another time for the Stampede. It's true that I did say that the Carnage was uh, a finisher, but uh, right now I'm saying that I probably don't want a finisher in this type of game, a game, because it's true that we will be recycling and all, but if we do get a bit of board control in the early game, that definitely doesn't hurt. So let's switch back another time for the Stampede. So now we are pretty also assured that the Scrimmoner will redraw only the Ceremonial Dance or the Red of Combat, which another time we didn't get to see the, the Ceremonial Dance Scrimmoner combo, which is, which is pretty sick, but... Uh, we still didn't got to see that, so let's try another time. So, another another revenge game against this Zanzigar deck. So we did get the, the first turn combo, and also we can go for Overseer on top of that. So, yeah, he will go probably for Zanzigar, that's obvious. So I will hold on uh, to our um, our uh, combo since uh, there is no point in doing that. They will, the Zamzigar will just kill our Ali, so I instead want to go for uh, Orphan Gangs or way to kill the Zamzigar first. So we also do get the Ceremonial Dance, which could which could help us. So let's see Ceremonial Dance. So we also do get Red of Combat, which will able to kill, which we will be able to kill the Zamzigar. So Red of Combat, double Red of Combat, it's pretty nice. We can also go for Rat Catcher to reroll our stuff, but we don't have any, anything, any of them probably. So let's go for Rat Ointment instead to also try and slow him down uh, with the Red of Rats.
So you did see the value that the ceremonial dance did provide us. Right now we to ride off the combats into the deck, we are definitely pretty threatening. And really I do like this fact that it is a pretty uh, like hybrid uh, type of deck where we do have the board presence which will uh, have our opponent to just kill off our stuff, but we do also have the right of combats to actually being aggressive early on and stuff. And also as a way to kill threats like uh, we are using it currently. So it goes for double Gilder Warrior, but probably with two Red of Combats we should be able to kill this stuff. Probably with a Tyrant Peacock, uh, not. But uh, yeah, let, let's just see. <laughs> so yeah, we did barely be able to, to kill all this stuff, which is definitely pretty, pretty sick for us. So we also do have the, the border control. Let's see if he goes for a build away to kill off some stuff. So yeah, he goes. Probably the Conjurer do Arthur, yes, okay. So now the Overseer plus the Rat Catcher will be able to redraw uh, all our deck, uh, pretty much. So let's go for a double Rat Ointment to just get uh, back some more uh, uh, like board presence. So next turn we will probably not be able to kill uh, those stuff. But we can wait. So let's see. Yeah, probably there is nothing we can do about that. Yeah, we also don't kill the Zanzigar, so yeah, that's uh, GG. So pretty unlucky another time. Um, um, yeah, there is nothing really much we can do against uh, these type of decks if they start off uh, really good, like they did. Uh, and in, in this uh, game instead we did not start as well. So yeah, probably I don't see what could be changed. Probably the, um, the Overseer, uh, most of the times I try to make the Overseer work but it just doesn't. Uh, it is pretty good with uh, Ratcatcher and stuff, but probably most of the times we will not be able to grab the Overseer and the Ratcatcher. Instead, the rat catcher is pretty fine by itself. Probably the overseer is a bit uh, too much long-term value, so probably you can get rid of it. And instead, return to a much more safe uh, repopulate, which just will help us to uh, redraw stuff, and also is pretty good uh, with the right of combats and scrivener and stuff. So yeah, let's try this out. So, we are another time against um, this uh, Pocky Benediction deck, so let's see how it works. Uh, we don't get uh, anything of uh, our uh, turn one sick combo, but we do get the ceremonial dance scrivener combo. So this is the type of game where uh, we just uh, double whatever we we have uh, in our bank. So let's see if we do get a wishing coin proc to kill the ballista. Actually, we want to kill the, the bunker anyway. So let's go for the ceremonial dance. So now let's go for Scrimoner into Ceremonial Dance another time. We also get even another Scrimoner to just continue the cycling uh, on. So right now we should, uh, we want to kill the, the bunker. So let's see if we have ways to do that. Probably let's go for Orphan Gang, which will kill the mercenary. And then we can kill one of the bunker, which is uh, enough. At least that's not the two of them. So it goes for Loan and Benediction, obviously, so yeah. So we still need to be able to kill the Bunkers, but let's see what he does uh, restock. So a Loan, so that's not uh, a big deal for us. We can probably also keep the Orphan Gang to just uh, redraw stuff with the Repopulate next turn. Also we do get Rite of Combat, which will be pretty sick in combo with the Ceremonial Dance. So yeah, probably let's go for Rite of Combat instead. So we do kill all this board and uh, we also have an orphan gang on. So he does redraw the ballista so that we'll kill our orphan gang with the benediction. Let's see if he goes for it. He goes for it, so yeah. Let's 
Francisco for a scrimmer, which will redraw as a ceremonial dance, uh, which we can uh, buy the orphan gang uh, with, so that that will kill the ballista. So right now we are another time uh, regaining uh, board. It does go for a benediction, but probably there was not so much point in that as uh, really uh, it does have the the economy. So there was another time not so point so much point in doing that. So we can go for the rat ointment uh, sick combo. Also, you see all the attacks we are getting off uh, the right of combat while doing this type of stuff. And also, the ceremonial dance just really doubles uh, our things, so really nice. So, he didn't redraw the ballista, that was unlucky for from him, but uh, lucky for us. So, a double right of combat, and that should be a good game. Let's also go for gold banners. So, yeah, just two of lethal. I really like the another time the fact that this is an hybrid deck with the board presence and uh, right uh, synergy. I really really like this stuff. So he did regain uh, his uh, board, which is pretty bad for us, and we probably can't do anything about it. So yeah, if he redraws the benediction, which he did redraw two of, uh, we're pretty much screwed. So yeah, probably let's, let's just go for Herd of Rust just to have a bit more shields. But really, that's 5 attacks per benediction, plus the 5 attacks on turn, so yeah, that's GG. Another time. Barely another time. So yeah, uh, probably the repopulate uh, could have helped us, uh, not in this type of game, as uh, our opponent uh, didn't want to kill uh, so much our board, uh, like it, it, because it was an ally deck itself. Uh, but yeah, we can't really make the perfect deck, it's obvious that this deck has some anti-synergies and um, some counters. So, probably nothing we could do about that. Uh, I don't want to end with a defeat, so let's just try another time if uh, this deck could, can win as a last game. So, we're up against Alzadora. Let's hope that he doesn't have a Malediction. Not again. So let's go for a Gold Panner to just start off our economy. And also probably a Rato Invent to slow him down as well. So we also do get the Ceremonial Dance which will give us more value as we go on so yeah he also gives us the economy to grab the ceremonial dance and probably we want to go for rat catcher just to be able to redraw the herd of rats to another time slow him down as we really do want to win uh, as early as possible and we don't want him to grab anything so he also does get two procs from the vision coin that's uh, really unfortunate for us so let's just wait on the wait on the orphan gang. We do get the the scrimmer, which will redraw us the 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 right the, the ceremonial dance. He also does get a bunker. We don't have any way to kill it right now. So let's see if the rat catcher does uh, regain us the the herd of rats. He does. So we can go for the rat toy invent. And probably also the, the orphan gang at this point as we really want to um, outrush him. It's really difficult at this point, but uh, that's our strategy, so we should continue doing that. So let's see, we redraw, we redraw the ceremonial dance, which we can combo with the scrimmer. So we can double on what we get. But he did draw the Malediction. Next turn he will also be able to grab it. So yeah, <laughs> another time uh, we did get hard countered. So let's see if we can recover. Probably we should double on the orphan gangs, as we really want to be aggressive. Right now we could have a chance if he doesn't redraw maledictions, or if we, if even if he she does, uh, he does redraw the maledictions. But we can recover in some occasions. Uh, I know that we can. So let's just hope that we do. We do. Uh, 
So, but again, really, this is why um, Herd of Rats deck uh, just doesn't work because they have too many counters uh, like uh, Malediction, uh, Mayam, Into Madris, uh, uh, and Dazu now also has Starfall Requiem. And uh, really, we don't have ways to, as a, as a Daramek, to answer those threats, like for example, the Bunker right now. Uh, really, so this is a type of strategy that just doesn't work uh, right now, but probably uh, it's uh, also a problem of the faction itself, the, the Daramek. Uh, currently the only meta deck with Daramek is uh, Mogus Sacrifice, uh, if he is uh, successful, and also the, the Barbarous Idol. And uh, Daramek uh, should uh, rely more into allies, and the only way right now it relies on them is with Mogus by sacrificing them. So there is really not a way to... Um, to play allies in the sense that they are, they should be supposed to play, like stay on board, for example, as a Dharmic. So yeah, he also went for the miracle. So yeah. we are also into negatives, so we can't really do anything. So yeah, that's GG. Another time, I don't want to end with a defeat, so let's just keep playing until this deck can actually win. So, we are up against a, a mirror match for what seems to be an Ezra, at least, but a pretty different type of strategy, which is Erdobor's uh, Sacrifice. So, he obviously starts off with uh, an Erdobor's, and probably we want to kill uh, it uh, for, for ourselves. Uh, but we currently can't, uh, even uh, if we go for a light of combat, so we just have to wait. So he obviously sacrifices the, the Earth of Boars. We can probably go for a ceremonial dance to just uh, be another time a pretty uh, value game orient oriented game. I don't want the uh, right of combat to be bumped out of the deck, so probably I will go for it even if it's not that much of a value. I will probably also keep the coin for later uses. So I also want to play some Aldis uh, so that he will need to kill those. He is pretty close on killing us already. So yeah, let's go for Orphan Gangs to kill the, that stuff. Just one of lethal. Let's see if he does get a proc from the Ushin coin. He does not. He can still kill us with these Orphan Gangs. Steal one of lethal. Steal one of lethal. <laughs> so yeah. We need to kill those stuff and also heal uh, if he does get some resources out of the Earth of Boars. Or the, we could also go for Gold Panners to shield from the Orphan Gang. But we do need to heal the, the Earth of Boars. So probably not, uh, because that will be one attack, one from the Orphan Gang. So if we heal, we are still safe. I will not let him get a resource out of the Earth of Boars for now. So yeah, he did get a proc from the Wishing Coin, and so that's GG. Also, he did reroll our fun gang, so another time we did lost uh, with this deck. Actually not, because he did spend a resource, so that was probably a misplay. Let's see if we can recover in some ways. So we need to heal, since he did get a resource from the, um, the Elder Boars. So let's heal, let's see. If he, plows, if he misplays by buying the Erdo Bors and tries to sacrifice it, he could probably win. He just needs to sacrifice uh, one other. Okay, so yeah, he did play well. Yeah, he did get a resource into that. GG. Pretty unlucky another time. Let's just retry another time. So, we are another time against uh, that type of uh, um, deck with Malediction and stuff. So another time, a pretty hard counter to our strategy. So you should probably not go for Aldi mode, but instead uh, for Ceremonial Dance mode with Rite of Combat. And Aldi is just as a card to play. So yeah, we, we do get the, the stuff that we wanted. So 
So we also do get a proc from the Wishing Coin to grab a Scrammer, so definitely this seems to be a pretty good start for us. Let's see if we just ruin it. So we can go for Rat Catchers to redraw our stuff and also I did say that we don't, uh, didn't want to go for uh, Ali mode, but uh, probably we can uh, with this current uh, type of situation. So yeah, we can go for, um, let's see, probably let's just wait for the Red of Combat. Yeah, that's that's probably better. So, right of combat. Uh, this will be a pretty sick turn. We can redraw the ceremonial dance with the, the thing. So we can also go for a uh, rat ointment, uh, which will uh, let us play eight cards, I guess. Or probably we could go gold panners. Two of them will be two gold, then a rat ointment, so that's another time four cards, but we do get the gold partners, which are probably better. Yeah, probably, so let's see. So we do redraw a scrammer, which is nice. Let's see if we draw a Ride of Combat or the Ceremonial Dance. I will probably like more the Ceremonial Dance, which we do get. I will probably wait on the Ride of Combat, as really our opponent doesn't have ways to kill us, so we can just safely wait. And yeah, next turn it will probably be lit up for us with uh, Ride of Combat uh, 3 pair. So yeah, he does need to attack and try to heal. Attack. Good. So, uh, let's go for Ride of Combat, and yeah, that, that should be probably a good game. We do also reload the other one. Let's see, we also do get the Ceremonial Dance, and yeah, that's GG. Finally, we did get one, and really, you did see the fact that if we just went for straight up uh, only uh, aggro mode with Herd of Rats, you would be pretty much suffer this type of matches against uh, Maledictions or Mayhem and stuff. So we did get lucky on the very first uh, match. Uh, we were against a Malediction deck, but he was not able uh, to, to grab those type of cards. So we were pretty lucky to lock him on uh, this early. I will probably rewatch the, the game, but we were pretty lucky on the bank, I suppose. Uh, instead, with this type of strategy, we do have still the aggro potential against, for example, other ally based deck with the Herd of Rats into Ratointment or Orphan Gangs and Gold Panners spam. But we do also have the the value and more long term uh, uh, deck plan, like for example, with Ceremonial Dance into Scrivener, which will double all our bindings, for example, and Ride of Combat as a win condition. We also have Stampedes as a way to keep our board and the kill early on threats, another time, for example, against Danziger. And we also do get the Repopulate, which will help us against those aired matchups, like for example, the Malediction or Mayhem, and also those pretty well synergized with the Ride of Combat, as this will give us uh, three more cards to play with uh, uh, the Ride of Combat. So yeah, I pretty much like this iteration of the deck. Another time, it has its it, it has its counters, but probably this is uh, probably, as I said, probably the best iteration of uh, Nerd of Rats Rat Ointment strategy. So that's it for this video. Hope you liked it and find it useful. Be sure to leave down below a comment to let me know what you want to see in the next videos. And as always, see ya.